Welcome back to another Nate and Tech vlog. Got some awesome updates for you today, but first I want to thank you guys for getting me to 400 subscribers. Uh, we just hit that this last week. I am very excited to have that many people following me and liking the stuff that I've been doing as far as my reviews or the cup holder stuff for all the Hondas. Um, I really appreciate it. Now let's get into the updates. So I was, I had a chance to test out the 8889, the coin holder update, and it does actually fit really well. I got to do a couple little tweaks to this guy, uh, but for the most part, it's done. So I'll be posting a little bit more of that online uh, and pretty much making it available to ship. I'm gonna print out a few of these just to make sure that everything is good to go. Uh, it, it fits up just like I thought. Let's see if I can get it. I know last time I got wasn't quite as good. Anyway, it basically is going to cover this guy up just like this. I'm going to do a couple tweaks so it matches up on these corners. You can see it doesn't quite match up perfect right there. So I got a couple tweaks there to do. Um, everything else fits really good with this guy. I'm going to make. I don't think I'm going to do the cylinders. Let's set this down. I might do a couple little cylinders coming out right here to match up with those holes just for alignment purposes um, but they may only stick out just a little bit just to help it it fit and hold tight as well as the little fingers right here and then one on one on each side so that this will actually go over the lip on this other one so enough on those i've been talking about those a lot but a lot of guys have seemed to like those so i'm trying to get it out for or any any of the civics that have the, the coin holder on the left side so you guys can run that um, don't know the price it might be a little bit more than the original just because it's coming with the second piece that I have to print but it shouldn't be more than a few dollars more so shipping and stuff all that it'll stay the same um, I did get a chance a lot of guys you're gonna get excited about this I did get a chance to start on the wagon uh, cup holders I'm doing some some testing with with fitment mainly for the automatics right now um, I was almost out of filament for my printer, so I just kind of did a quick little print so I can test some cup holders on a uh, friend's automatic that's here in town to make sure that when you put the shifter in park, that there's still enough room to have at least a couple tall cans. May not be able to fit uh, the found drinks very well, at least like the larges where they're going to be pretty wide at the top, but that's what we're going to test and see. So let me show you a couple. This is what, is what I've printed. It, this is not what it's going to look like in the end. This is mainly just to test. Uh, Width-wise, I'm just kind of trying to see how wide I can get these cups out without interfering with your leg. Um, but wide enough to where that shifter, which is about three and a half inches, including the, the button, can get in between the cups without really knocking them over. Um, if, if they hit, you know, barely hits when you put it in park, I'm kind of okay with that because most of the time when you're driving, it's going to be in driving completely away from the cups. We're okay there. I just want to make sure that when you put it in park that it really doesn't spread those cups uh, way out. So that's kind of my thoughts. If you guys have any ideas, make sure you post them below because um, I don't want to think of everything. You know, I don't think of everything all the time. So these are about 85 millimeters apart, uh, as you can see right there. I marked it just so I know. So I'm going to test this. Um, just it just sits on top of the console I'll show you an example of what but you know it, it looks really wide but in reality let's get back a little bit so you guys can kind of see this they don't really sit outside the console too much this console is a little bit wider than the than the hatch and the sedan so you know we're, we're going to test this we'll see how it works this is the automatic this is this is the two-wheel drive and this is the, the RT one that I have. I'm going to kind of try to fit them almost as far back towards the shifter boot as possible, mainly because the, the radio bezel actually sits, sticks further back on the wagons than it does in the hatch and the sedan. So we're running even a little bit tighter, tighter fitment here at the front of the, front of the console. So we're going to play with it a little bit, see where some of the settings are and see what we can do to get this as optimum as possible for you guys to where you guys still have the option to run a lot of the same stuff. The, 
the RT, the manual ones that that do drop in, if, if I can make them work the way that I want, like I did with the hatch and the sedan, they will have a little more option because the shifter, the actual shifter may be above most of your cups because they can drop them down so low. So they won't have the issue, so it may not be as wide as this for the two manuals. The automatics are gonna be stuck with something probably close to this wide just because of how far that shifter goes forward and how wide that, that shifter is. Um, Anyway, like I said, if you guys have any questions, make sure that you post them below. Oh, one other cool update. I am 100% caught up on all orders. So all orders from now on should be going out much, much quicker. We shouldn't really have any backlog more than a day or two that takes me to print each one or two that, that come in on a daily basis. Um, so that's going to give me a chance to obviously get into prototyping a lot more. And I've actually got a, a, some stock of some of the some of the consoles or the cup holders so we can get them shipped out within 24 hours of when the orders come in um, so we're we're finally actually starting to kind of get in a rhythm where we're able to get things now that we're caught up we can get things out quicker you guys won't be waiting a couple of weeks for these these bigger kind of print jobs really to to get done so i've been working really hard to get those out to you guys if you guys have any suggestions um any questions, anything like that, post it in the comments below. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on um, Instagram. I respond as quick as I can on, on both of those. Uh, follow me on both. Make sure you subscribe so you guys get all of the vlog updates. As well as some of my, I do a lot of electronic reviews as well. Uh, microphones, headphones, laptops, things like that. Um, so if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, I do reviews on those as well. Um, so make sure you follow us there, subscribe anywhere you need, and we will see you next time.